Hi folks, Mr. Teslonian back here again. This is a word of safety before I get started here on this video. I want to tell you that these are no joke. These capacitors at this size will absolutely lay you out if not kill you. So do not attempt this at home without a trained professional. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got a series of large scale capacitors that I've used now for the Wimshurst electrostatic generator so that we can do small scale and larger scale uh, capacitance experiments. Now what we got is just a simple design. They're, they're PVC pipe design. I've got two different ones here. The large ones in the background are out of three inch PVC pipe with a cork top and an interior lining that I've just put around a piece of paper that was the right size for the inside, put the aluminum foil around the paper and slid it down on the inside of that three inch piece of pipe right there. Uh, that's a harder way to do it. These smaller designs here is what I'm going to show you right now. Just how to build a small high powered capacitor system. Uh, first of all I don't have this all connected so I could show this to you and I want to show you what's here on the inside. This is just the inner tube and what I have is a two inch piece of PVC pipe and an inch and a half piece of PVC pipe. And they're very thick gauge PVC so they sit really tight with each other. If I show you that, there's almost no air space around it, just barely enough for the wire here to go between the two of them. And I'm going to pull the cork out of the center tube here and just show you the cork has a reset nut up inside of the piece and what I've done to create this cork is used a piece of 2x6 and a hole saw at the right size for the inside of the diameter of the inner PV, uh, piece of PVC pipe. Uh, I've got a bolt, some washers, everything hooked onto that. If I put that back in there, I'm going to show you exactly what it's there to do. Uh, you'll actually take these loop of wire that you see here, you'll actually wrap it around the head of that bolt between the two washers there. You're going to twist it around a couple times, tighten that all down with your discharge tips here. These will actually be able to be moved off of uh, these larger capacitors and attached to the top here. I may make my own set for this capacitor bank so I don't have to keep undoing things. Uh, and that'll actually bolt right off the top here. Let me show you what's going on on the inside of this. Take them off really carefully because you don't want to hurt the interior aluminum foil. And here's what I've got. I've got basically two pieces of PVC pipe equally wrapped in height. So you notice they're equal and parallel in height there on both the top and the bottom. That's a full roll height wise in aluminum foil on each one of these. These will wipe you out. I'm not joking so be careful. Uh, I've got all this wire here is actually totally stripped all the way around so it's bare copper wire. It comes down and makes a good contact wrapping all the way around the interior piece of aluminum foil on our capacitor. So there you go, there's our interior rod, it's just aluminum foil. I actually used super glue and glued those onto there so they're not going to move a lot. I've got all my edges, the top edges and the seam edges and the bottom edge all glued so that way I'm not ripping against them when I slide them in and out. Typically you're not going to move these very often but there is some neat experiments that you can do where I can actually put the exterior tube on here, charge it up with the Wimshurst electrostatic generator and remove this exterior tube, move the two way away from each other, leave that there for quite a long time as, as long as nothing comes in contact to discharge either one of them, I can bring them back together and they're still going to work, still uh, hold the capacitance charge to them. Uh, so once again, you just take a two inch piece and you're going to wrap aluminum foil all the way around the two inch piece of pipe and you got to make sure you keep the foil without any crinkles in it. Do a lot of work to try to get it as smooth as you can and it's almost impossible to get it dead smooth but try to get it as smooth as you can. Same with the interior piece and what I've done in the bottom to hold the interior piece is I first made uh, the hole saw cut for the size of the inside of this uh, inch and a half PVC and then I made a size cut for the outside diameter of the two inch. So it's actually got a little peg sticking up in there left over. I didn't break off the interior peg from the hole saw that this actually sits down on just like the peg you see as the lid here. This actual peg here resembles the same thing that's sitting up still attached to the lower 2x4. Uh, I just knocked over the outside one. Just be careful with these, you don't want to rip them. Uh, so anyways, that's all that's holding that on there. That keeps the interior tube nice and strong and sturdily mounted. Why we can take the exterior tube and move it around, do what we want. Once again here, I'm going to try to set this carefully right back down uh, over the interior tube here. And there you go. Now you've got 
a nice capacitor. It's easy to build. You can actually remove the exterior and interior, and you can actually put those into different experiment setups where you can run one from a long ways from another, even as a little uh, backup home-built electric fence setup with a single charge in it. Uh, so there you go. These ones here are a little more difficult. Uh, they actually require a lot of time trying to get the interior piece of aluminum foil stuck inside of the same pipe I don't have an interior pipe in these like I do on this design. These are actually a cork. Let me see if I can pull that out for you These are a cork made out of wood with a bolt sticking down uh, All the way through into the interior and if I show you down in there if the camera can pick up any of it You'll notice the aluminum sitting on the inside, and you notice a little rough looking. That's a very difficult way to try to put it in there. That's why I tried to come up with this double tube design. And these actually have brushes off the bottom of the bolt right here that'll actually sit down and connect with the inside plate of that aluminum foil inside our larger capacitor bank here. Once again, we'll set our discharge balls to the same distance. Uh, so there you go. That's how to make a simple capacitor. Uh, these are very large capacitors. If you wanted to experiment at home, I'd take a piece of uh, the same size pipe and I'd make it maybe four inches long. Just a section on either side, on the inside and outside pipe, about four inches of aluminum foil. That's still going to make you weak in your knees. Still going to hurt a lot when you get hit by it. Uh, it's a lot less dangerous. Anything this big could actually kill you. So don't try a full sheet of aluminum. At the very most, try about a quarter sheet wrapped around the inside and the outside once again and that'll keep it in a safe range that's more like a uh, stun than a, an actual uh, death taser there so there you go hope you enjoyed until next time this was mr. Tesalonian in the Tesalonian man show